name is Terry Rogers, and I've come to talk with you about a very serious problem that is uh, plaguing our community here in Prince George's County. And that problem is, it, it starts with the incarceration of our young black men. And what we're finding is that uh, the reentry of serious high-risk offenders into communities across the country has become a long, rec is a long recognized source of violent crime in the United States as more than 630,000 offenders are released from prison every year, the problem of their recidivism has become a crisis that affects all parts of any community, lower class, middle class, upper class, black, white, or other. Fewer than half of all released offenders stay out of trouble for at least three years after their release from prison. And many of these offenders are committing serious crimes even while they're on parole supervision. Large percentage of these offenders are parents and predominantly their fathers. While these bleak statistics are primarily related to adults, the discussion becomes even more complicated when we talk about the overall impact that it has on our young black children. From some of our previous engagements, we have learned that many of the incarcerated young men we have spoken with either have fathers who are incarcerated, they don't know who their fathers are, or they have absentee fathers. Sadly, many of these young children are already following in their father's footsteps, even if they don't know who their father is. This is a significant problem because many of these youth, once released, are returning to our communities, and more critically, they're returning to our school systems. And re-entry into the school system following incarceration presents multiple challenges for the youth, their family, and the school system. Oftentimes, the school system itself presents obstacles to re-entry, such as zero-tolerance legislation. Recognizing the seriousness of the problem, the men of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity's Gamma Pi Chapter, supported by Friendship Charities Foundation Incorporated, have made a decision to commit their efforts and resources to implementing a fatherhood initiative program. This program will be modeled based on the guidelines established in the White House's Responsible Fatherhood's goals, and it will be infused with the 12 principles of Nanny Helen Burroughs. Through this program, we hope to plant the seeds of responsibility and accountability in the lives of the young men that we will encounter. We're asking that you please join us in this effort, and we look forward to your support. Thank you. I'm Greg Crawley, representing the Gamma Pi chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about um, our program that will support the nationally mandated fatherhood initiative that is currently underway in, uh, in America. Um, first, I'd like to start off by saying that the President has identified a major problem in our society, and that is uh, the absence of fathers in the family today. Uh, what we plan to do uh, here in the Gamma Pi chapter of Omega Psi Phi is um, we're putting together a um, mentorship program for the uh, young men that are currently incarcerated in the uh, Cheltenham Youth Facility in Cheltenham, Maryland. We plan to execute this program during the summer of 2012. Um, our fatherhood initiative is anchored on three uh, major principles. One, questions to ask yourself before becoming a dad. Two, the 10 things you can do to become a great dad. And three, how to create a good successful re-entry program to enable you to um, reunite with your family and children when you come out of incarceration. As part of our instruction and uh, mentoring session, I'd like to leave you with a couple of thoughts. These are some questions that we recommend young men ask themselves as they consider preparing to become a father. One, are you ready to commit to being a father for the duration of those children's lives? Two, are you ready to maintain a relationship with the children's mother, with whether you marry or not? And three, are you ready to be a provider for your children that you bring into the world for the duration of their youth years? Something to think about. Thank you very much.